Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to give you all a friendly reminder, which is actually just preaching to myself. But I realize, especially when I'm not feeling good or my kids aren't feeling good, that we all just naturally have our own energy levels. And I was always, like, always comparing myself, my parenting, my housewifeness, my girlfriendness, my whatever phase I was at, I was always comparing myself to other people and thinking, like, if I wasn't as good as them, then, you know, there's something wrong with me or I'm not good enough or whatever. Hold on. Got an itch. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, you know, and we all kind of do that, like, keeping up with the Joneses and, like, if your neighbors have a better yard, you're like, ugh, mine looks like crap or somebody's got a better car or someone looks like they have a better relationship than you. It's really hard not to compare yourself. So I'm just here to tell you, try not to. <laughs> and I really struggle with this. And it's not so much like I want to be like other people. I just feel bad when I don't seem like maybe I'm not as successful or I don't know. Like you're, if, if someone's house looks cleaner than mine, then I feel bad. Like crap, you know, mine's not that nice. Um, but if someone's is messier, I also compare that and I'm like, sweet. I'm so glad my house doesn't look like that because then awesome. Then I feel like I'm winning, you know, because like, well, at least my house doesn't look like theirs. So I do it both ways. Like I like seeing when other people aren't perfect because then it makes me feel better. And maybe I'm a terrible person, but when TikTok moms or fa like Facebook moms are like, bro, look at my messy house. Look at my pile of laundry makes me feel a lot better like okay I'm not the only one that has like piles of laundry or dishes or whatever anyways all that to say is that I'm really trying finally at 32 to not feel so guilty about everything and to not you know feel like I'm not enough it's really hard it's really hard to not feel like you're good enough for everyday life so I just took this week as realizing like, people are always going to judge me people are probably going to talk bad about me behind my back about my house or about my parenting or whatever it is and I just have to accept that they're going to do that <laughs> and if they don't like what I'm doing you know feel free to tell me and um I don't have to worry about it as long as my husband and my kids are happy with me and God's happy with me then that's really all that matters and like I said I'm preaching the choir like I'm literally just telling myself this and if someone watches this and can really I'm glad because like this is one of my biggest struggles is always feeling guilty as I always talk about and a lot of that guilt is like well I didn't clean enough or um, I I watched a Netflix too long last night or something like I wasn't doing something for someone else and that's like my biggest thing is like if I'm not doing enough for other people I feel really bad about it and it's hard for me to just like enjoy life like just randomly doing stuff on my you know for myself <laughs> it's hard for me to truly enjoy it without feeling really guilty in the back of my head. Like, even just going to lunch real quick with my mom the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, is someone going to be mad that I'm just, like, essentially, you know, like, wasting time just going out to eat instead of cleaning something or running an errand or, or whatever. It wasn't a waste of time. That's not what I mean. But it was, like, a fun activity, and it was just weird for me. And it comes with, like, a lot of baggage and a lot of people being mad at me for things that I shouldn't have, like been yelled at for or whatever so it's kind of like a haunting thing for me anyway I'm just rambling a lot and telling you hey just compare yourself to yourself like if you feel like you're winning today because you got up and showered then that's awesome like celebrate your success between you and God it doesn't really matter what the success is if you feel good about yourself about something then you know be happy reward yourself and it might seem dumb and silly but I'm talking about those of us who like really struggle day to day, like feeling like they accomplished something or feeling like they're worthy or feeling like they did enough, even though you could be, you know, wearing yourself out thin, like going, going, going and taking care of everyone and cleaning all you can and working and all of these different things. But you still feel like at the end of the day, you're just not enough or someone was left out that day. Like my kid, <laughs> one of my kids literally last night was like, you don't spend enough time with me. And you know, and I was listening to her, but at the same time, I'm like, bro, like, I have nothing left to give. Like, I, I swear, like, I'm doing everything I can to make sure my kids feel played with and happy and, like, quality time. And they have long talks. And, like, that takes a lot of energy to, to hear, like, someone's still not getting enough. I'm like, <laughs> but, you know, I had to hear her out. And then I'm like, okay, well, I will do my best to, like, give you more. <laughs> 
I was like, you know, if you want more time with me, you know, feel free to join me in the kitchen, like, help me do the dishes or something, so then I can, like, do some free choice time, you know, after that or whatever, um, which is no big deal, but as parents, you know, we kind of already feel stretched thin of just, like, making sure everyone's needs is met and then try to meet your husband's and wife's needs and then maybe your own if you have time. So, yeah, it's basically all I want to say is, like, I'm just learning a lot in my old age and just learning to just compare myself to myself and and somebody else's highs might be like unachievable for me and somebody else's lows might be you know my best day <laughs> like and and vice versa like somebody else like if I'm having my great day and I'm killing it as a mom and like everything's going great I'm killing it as a wife um and I think, like, I'm doing such a good job. That might be somebody's, like, worst day of, like, achievement, you know, like, because they could have done, like, circles around me and, and still, like, had, like, an even better career or a better whatever. Um, and that's just got to be okay, you know? Like, we all have different speeds and we all have different mental capabilities. We all have different physical capabilities. And, like, we cannot compare it ourselves to other people because we're not built the same we don't have the same relationships what about the same kids like if you think about it every aspect of someone else's life is going to be completely different than yours so i cannot compare myself to mrs jones when she has a completely different husband completely different kids completely different house a house setup you know a completely different background of like what is her skills and physically emotionally mentally like everything is so different like why in the world would you compare yourself to someone else i've struggled with this my whole life even comparing what I look like to my cousins or my aunts, no offense, but like at Christmas time, I'd be like, why are me and my siblings like the dark ones? You know, like we were always like brown and poopy and like, they were like blonde and blue eyed and like models. And we always just so, I don't know, felt like, okay, <laughs> like, why do we look different? And we all had like crooked teeth and like, it's sad that I always thought that when I was a kid, like going to Christmas, I was like, oh, we gotta like dress up, look really nice because we've got a lot to compare to. I don't even know if they know that, but they they are like such beautiful family members. <laughs> like, they're gorgeous and am I still jealous? Not at all. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, sort of, but yeah. So it's just, it just all goes way back. I'm gonna stop mumbling now, like my microphone. It's not um, paid programming or whatever you call it. What is that called? Advertising? Paid? Paid? Advertising? I mean, I can't even think. Promotional. I don't know. They always say, like, this is a promotional. Mur, mur, mur. I'm not selling this stuff. But we do sell it at Menards. If you feel like going there, I need some cock. But so it's like having little random microphones for things. So, yeah. And right now I'm literally sitting on a outdoor chair inside my house because my house is so big now that <laughs> I just put whatever I want there. They're cute white rocking chairs, and now I can sit and look at my beautiful porch. Now this is my new favorite spot. I like being able to sit here and rock back and forth and drink coffee in the morning, and there's my turtles, and they're so cute. So to me, that's winning. Like, that's something I made, and I'm happy with it. It's just cute. Um, but to somebody else, I'd be like, are you flipping kidding me? It's a turtle. Like, why are you happy about it? <laughs> but yeah so we all win in different ways and we all just need to be thankful for what we have and thankful for our successes and not beat ourselves up over when we feel like we're losing in life so that's it there's my grand yoda advice for everyone bye, -bye now